quantity is not an equation, but it is solved like an equation. So the foundation of solving inequalities is being able to solve equations. Alright? In an equation, we have an equal sign. In an inequality, we have a greater than sign, a less than sign, a greater than or equal to, or a less than or equal to sign. Okay? So, I'm just going to do some examples. Now, I'm going to represent my solutions on a number line as well. Remember, we did the number line before. It's not new at the beginning of the term. So, I'm not going to treat you like you haven't seen what I'm going to be talking about now. All right? I'm not going to treat you that way. Okay? So, what happened here, we divided by a negative coefficient here. We divided by a negative coefficient there, and the sign changed from being a greater than sign to a negative sign. And then we represented the answer on a number line. Okay? So the next example. With minus 4 times x minus 1 is less than x plus 2. So we want to solve for x. So we remove brackets on the left to get minus 4x plus 4 is less than x plus 2. And then we take the x to the left, we get minus 4x minus x is less than. Now we take the positive 4 to the right, we get 2 minus 4, and that will give you minus 5x is less than minus 4, so minus 2. Okay? Like that. Now, since we have a negative coefficient here, this negative coefficient, it means our inequality sign is going to change from being a less than sign to a positive sign. So, the next step will be minus 5x over minus 5 is greater than minus 2 over minus 5. So, the final answer of the x is greater than 2 over 5. Then, I need to illustrate that on a, on a number line. Okay? So I'll draw my number line here. It's 2 over 5. So I can just put it here. That's 2 over 5. Then since x is greater than 2 over 5, draw my, my small circle on top. Then my arrow will be pointing to the uh, right. Those we are dealing with values of x that are greater than 2 over 5. Alright? Any question there? Sorry, let me do one with the fraction fractions and then no, with double inequalities. Right, let me do one with double inequalities then we can go home after that. Right, so here we have question 7. So if minus 5 is less than 2x minus 3, and 2x minus 3 is less than or equal to 7. So that's the question. Now, when you have a double inequality, it will seem like you have got two equations. Okay? So what you do, this minus 3, okay? must be added on both sides of the inequality. Because remember, the objective is to isolate the x. That's the objective. We need the coefficient of x to be a 1. So the first step, since we are subtracting mine, uh, a negative, since we are subtracting a 3 from 2x, we have to add 3 on both sides of the inequality. So the next step would be to say minus 5 plus 3 is less than 2x minus 3 plus 3, right, is less than 7 plus 3. This subtraction here, I'm doing it to eliminate 
that's negative 3 between the two inequality signs. Okay? And I'm showing you the vertical trace diagram. Yes? Uh, how many zeros I Yes, then you subtract. The objective is just to eliminate that number. So if it's positive, you subtract. If it's negative, you add. Okay? Then we end up having minus 2 is less than 2x is less than 10. It's not an equation, so you don't put equal signs on the left here, please. As long as I'm your math teacher, you don't put equal signs. It's not an equation. Okay? Then from here now, we need to make the coefficient of x equal to 1. We need to change this coefficient from being a 2 to a 1. So since we have a double inequality, we have to divide both sides by 2. So my next step is divide each term by positive 2. So we end up having minus 2 over 2 is less than 2x over 2 is less than 10 over 2. If the coefficient was negative, the coefficient of x was negative, the inequality signs will change. Okay, fortunately here, our coefficient is positive. So we end up having minus 1 is less than x, x is less than or equal to 5. Then I need to represent that answer on a number line. Yes. As long as the coefficient of the variable is negative, the sign will change. Ah, not, I'm talking about the sign changes because of the coefficient of the variable, not a negative constant. The sign, the inequality sign changes because of the coefficient of the variable. Don't worry about the constant. See whether the coefficient of the variable is negative or not. If it's negative, then your inequality will change whether the constant on the right hand side of the inequality sign is positive or not. Yes? Yes. Okay. Thank you for that. You should have maybe say it that way. Right? The, in the case, okay, I'm going to reiterate this. In the case where you've got double inequalities, if you divide by a negative coefficient, both inequality signs will change. Not one, both of them will change. Okay, I hope it's clear now. Right, then from here, let's draw the number line. Let's draw a number line. Now when you draw a number line, we have got negative one, and then we have got a 5. Remember, when you did the interval notation, there is no equal sign here, but there is an equal sign there. So, when I draw the number line, on top of the minus 1, I'll draw my circle, but I won't shade it. Okay? On top of the 5, I'll draw my circle, but I have to shade it because the 5 is also included, and I'll join the two circles. Do you remember this? Okay, that's why we did we did uh, interval notation and then we did set through the notation so as to prepare you for now and going forward. Okay. All right. Then when we're any questions?